Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your September 11th through the 17th love reading. This is a weekly reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. It may or may not resonate with you as this is for hundreds and hundreds of people or thousands. So let's see what happens. This is for Sagittarius. I have pre-shuffled these three times with the bridge. So as soon as one falls out, I will deal. If one doesn't fall out, then I will choose when the time comes. Ah, oh, perfect. Two fell out. This one came out first. Eee. Strength. That's a good card to have. So you could be dealing with um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, as yourself. Um, we do have a Scorpio here and a Pisces as well. So, I mean, it's really any sign, but this is, again, this is for Sagittarius, the 11th through the 17th. Okay, I see a lot of um, fiery energy, okay? I think there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of excitement. I think that you are feeling very energetic. I think that you're moving to more peace within. I think there's more peace in your life and that comes from within. As um, If you look back to about a month ago, I think that things are a little bit more peaceful now. Um, maybe things are a little bit more comfortable. There may be a little bit more harmony in your life. I think that you're probably not struggling financially as much as you were. You might have enough to survive. I think that you could be feeling very proud of what you're doing, proud of your actions. Maybe you're gaining some self-respect or maybe somebody is even offering you respect because I see respect here. I see that you're looking very, very good. You must be putting off this high um, vibration, all right, because you, I feel like you must be... Um, very exuberant this week, you know, putting off a, a good aura as I as I come up with a lack of words here. I think you must be um, very vibrant. All right, I do see that you're strong, you're confident. You're feeling very wise, you're feeling very proud, um, accomplished. I think that something isn't happening, happening as quickly as you'd like and I'm not sure what it is. I think something is happening actually a lot slower than you'd like and you've been waiting for it. You know, and it seems like it's, it's in the distance but it's still not here and it's been going on for a while now. And, you're ha and it's causing you some inner conflicts because you've been waiting for this new start. You've been waiting for this person to come riding in on their horse to rescue you, okay? Or whatever, you know, you've been waiting for this ultimate partnership. That's what it looks like to me. And it looks like you've been waiting, 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 and it just hasn't happened. I think there's probably a lot of attraction this week. I think that you are attracting I think that you're looking very good and that you are feeling, or not feeling, you are, what is that word called? The pheromones are high. If you look up pheromones, I think your pheromones are high this week. All right. But this card up here is saying, be careful. <laughs> be careful because we have this impulsive action right here. 
be careful what you do. Think twice before you jump into the sack with somebody or into anything. And be careful when you jump because what you own owns you. Hold on a minute. Think twice. Think twice. Okay? That's what these cards, this is acting. This guy acts impulsively. And this card said, oh, wait, stop. Are you sure you want to do that? So if something comes up this week and you have this impulse to follow your, not your head, put it that way, or not the head on your shoulders, think twice. All right? Just do it. Because you could end up, you know, with something you don't want. All right? Um, this is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is a clarity of mind. All right? This is something, something, um, this is communication. This is honest, brash, truthful communication. Some kind of clarity. Could be regarding your home, could be regarding relationship. You could meet somebody at a gathering that you haven't seen in a while or somebody that you've never seen in your life because this is also signifies a gathering. You have two queens here. So you could have more than one person. You could have more than one love interest. This is a man or a woman, by the way. So just be careful what you do because there could be some, something could happen that you just think, think twice. Think twice, okay? That's all I got to say about that. All right, use your wisdom. That's why this card comes up. Because you're attracting. You probably have a lot of people coming after you at this time. Because you're very beautiful. Your beauty is shining this week. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. The only problem I see is right here. And this whole reading and fear. I mean, you got this fear that never goes away. Ever, ever, ever. This is fear. Fear of the unknown. Okay. And it's fear of not having enough money, fear of not being respected, and it's caused you a lot of depression. It's caused you a lot of anguish. It's caused you some sleepless nights thinking you're not good enough, but you are. You are. And I know that's what it is because we have the strength and the confidence and the wisdom and the courage and the beauty card and this victory and respect and self-respect and self-honor and self-worth card. So this is you not thinking that you are good enough. And that's your unknown fear. It's, it is. It's deep down inside of you. You are. You totally are so beautiful. I mean, so vibrant and beautiful. And this is for a male or a female. You have a lot to offer. A lot. So don't cut yourself down and think that you don't because you do. Those are your own little inner demons. See those inner demons? Those are your own inner demons. That's all they are is demons. Okay. The death card is when you decide to let something go to start something new. Okay. You have the death card there right here. That card says that it's time for you to start something new. It's a new change in your life. All right. But um, just be careful because there's a lot of hot and heavy energy here where there's impulsiveness and you could end up with something that you didn't really want. So think twice. That's the message. The main message is think twice. I'm trying to keep these quick. I'm sorry for the delay. I apologize for the sun if it's too bright, but... Uh, See if I can make it better. Maybe if I shut this shade. My apologies, because now the cord is stuck on the something. Did that help? Not really. Oh well. You've been waiting for this commitment. You've been waiting for this love. You've been waiting for this relationship. And it's been taking its sweet little time. It has. So this week, I think, is about you. Um, 
you have just you have a few choices. Think think twice. I think there's some um, there might be some. Jeez, I'm I cannot think at all. What is the word? Um, intense attraction to somebody that might cause you to jump. Before you jump, think about it. All right, just saying, because it might end up being something that you regret. That's your main message so far. Oh, we do have the Knight of Pentacles a couple times. Things are messy. And you got, you know, they haven't been messy for, so things are messy right now, and I'm not sure what that is. So things must be messy. Ooh, the tower. All right, so you do have all the signs here. I think there's a lot of interest this week. Either you have interest in several people or several people have interest in you. This is the week of September 11th through the 17th. I think there's a lot of heavy, hot, exciting, um, sexual energy, sexual drive, maybe some impulsiveness that you could cause some regret, regrets. Um, I see that you need to do the right thing. Okay, this justice card comes up and it's saying that you must do the right thing. This is a family. Right next to perhaps these regrets. Perhaps this impulsiveness. Perhaps this karma. So whoever comes into your life, make sure they're really single. Okay? Make sure they don't have a family at home that is waiting for them. Just saying. A partner. That could come up. All right, it could. Whew. I think that you are having a lot of, um, there's no, you're having a lot of clarity right now. Things are coming to you clearly in your head. This is a week of clear thinking. It is. I don't see any confusion. I think that you're thinking very clearly. I think you've went within. You've taken the time to reevaluate your future. And I, and I think that you are about doing the right thing for yourself. That's why the justice card came out. This is being just, doing the right thing. Not just for yourself, but for everybody involved. It's also karma, it's decisions. You do definitely have to make a decision with all these people. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of choices here. Think twice, okay, before you jump. All right. I know that you have been seeking balance into your life. I see that you have been seeking balance, and it's coming. It's here. It's, you've been doing it. It's been coming slowly. All right. You've taken the time you've needed. I think that you have. I think there's been a time of solitude, a time of really, really focusing, reevaluating, thinking, and now the, the tower, which I call the universe, is here to give you your reward. But it's a test. It's not just a reward. It's a test. There's a test. There's definitely a test here that says, are you going to do the right thing? That's the question. Are you going to do the right thing? This is a test. There is karma. There's no doubt about it. There's karma here. Think twice before you act. You have a lot of choices. Right in the middle of the reading is this fire sign. And you know who that fire sign is? You. That's Sagittarius. Aries or Leo, but it's you. It's the basis of the reading. Right in the middle. Now, the middle card is always the basis for me in this spread of mine. It says you have courage, you have willpower, you have strength, you have gained this. This is a man or a woman, and that is to... This is everything that you have gained in within your time of solitude. 
you have the power and you know you have the power and your vibration is very high the pheromones are shooting out to the universe and people are like Phew! you're so attractive that you're gonna have the opportunities to <laughs> make regrets so um just think twice i think this week is about um choosing wisely all right because there's something going on behind the scenes that you aren't aware of there is with the moon and the tower there's something going on and it could all come crashing down so be very careful this week I don't mean to alarm you or anything but I think that you're vibrating so highly that it could become like too hot so it sounds good doesn't it <laughs> that is what I have I think I will do three of these because I did them for the other signs. I don't know where we're at for time. I'm trying to keep these short, but it doesn't seem to be working out very good today. Passion. A lot of passion. Reconciliation. Ooh. Make the effort. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That's true. It's a week of passion. Be careful. Be very careful. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. No kidding. Now, this may or may not resonate with all of you because it's for hundreds of people or thousands. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Make the effort. But whatever you do, Make sure you do the right thing, because this is a test. I think it is. <laughs> Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. Um, I don't know where all that came from. I have to go with whatever, whatever comes out. I don't think I've ever said to anybody, this is a test, ever. You know, in a reading, I have my friends, you know, or myself or whatever, but I've never said it in a reading. So that must be a message for you. Talk to you later.